Like cellular respiration, photosynthesis has its own cycle process, and it's called the Calvin cycle, not to be confused with the Krebs cycle. This is the part of photosynthesis that performs carbon fixation. Remember, carbon dioxide gas is fixated into the solid form of carbon, but it's not yet glucose as we've been saying, but a sugar called glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, or G3P, and this is the same sugar that's formed after glycolysis. So technically, two G3P will form one glucose, C6H12O6. So the carbon cycle can occur at night, which is why it's referred to as the light independent reactions. But as we've said, they're not actually light independent. And that's because the Calvin cycle depends on the products of the light dependent reactions to start. They can occur at night if the light dependent reactions have already created the products during the daytime but otherwise the cycle doesn't start. So in a sense, the Calvin cycle is as dependent on light as the light dependent reactions. The term light independent is deceiving. And as we said already, remember, photosynthesis only occurs when light is present. So the Calvin cycle occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. And the general equation for this carbon fixation is CO2 plus protons plus electrons equals G3P. And the protons are carried over by NADPH. The protons and the electrons are both from the divided water molecules of the light reactions. A lot of ATP is also required to run this reaction. So both ATP and NADPH, as we said, are products of the light reactions. And in that way, the Calvin cycle depends on the light reactions. So as carbon dioxide cycles through, it is shaped and reshaped with ATP until it finally forms G3P. It's not terribly important to know the specifics of the Calvin cycle, but you should know ribulose biphosphate. And this is a five carbon atom that is regenerated each time the cycle turns. Each of three CO2 atoms enter the cycle, three CO2 atoms enter the cycle, and are added on to ribulose biphosphate to form this sort of six carbon molecule. And these six carbon molecules then break in half through various processes to produce one G3P molecule. The rest of the carbon molecules are then used to regenerate the five carbon ribulose biphosphate to start the cycle over again. So quickly to recap, the Calvin cycle is the second phase of photosynthesis, and although it's called the light independent reactions, it still depends on light to occur. It occurs in the stroma, and it takes carbon dioxide and fixates it into G3P, also known as carbon fixation.